Welcome to the great parade of traditional Sardinian masks, presented in the Nuris Carnival on Carrasquare Nugarisu. Broadcast on Sardegna TV, the tambourini and trumpeters of Oristano open the event. The Sartilia is an equestrian race that takes place on the last Sunday and Tuesday of the Oristano Carnival, where the riders have to hit a star hanging from a green ribbon. Since the Middle Ages, the drummers and trumpeters have attended the most important moments of the Judicato Arborents, chanting rituals and anniversaries linked to the various spheres of both political and religious city life. Now, they have the role of accompanying the salient moments of the Sartilia, with their rhythms and their trumpets they warn the descent of a rider on the track. Famous throughout the world, the Mamathones and Isohadoris of Mamoyada represent the link between the world of the living and the dead. Chasing away evil with the rhythmic sound of cowbells. They manifested themselves in ancient pagan rites. Currently they perform on January 17, during the Feast of Sant'Antonio Abate, with the opening of the Mamoya Carnival. In dressing, and from the moment they put on the mask, a metamorphosis is created where man becomes an animal god. The mammothone wears a dark mask, carries bells of various sizes on its shoulders, with a weight that can reach 20 kilos. The Isohador, the guardian of the mammothone, wears a red bodice and uses a rope of intertwined rushes, with the aim of catching some spectators, as a sign of good luck and abundance. The Maimons perform in the Ozai Carnival. They represent a being half woman and half man and simulate a relationship for human fertility. The Intintos, with their faces blackened by soot, represent widows mourning the death of the carnival. Finally, the Maranazos, who parade in pairs and wear woolen clothes. Typical mask of the carnival of Neon Eli, Soscariolos, they wear sheep or goat skins. On their shoulders they have a porcupine skin with animal bones tied together. They wear a cork headdress with sumptuous deer or fallow deer horns. They perform an eccentric dance around the fire to the beat of a horn, holding pitchforks and jingling in unison. The load of bones on their shoulders Samaskira Gatu, from the Cerule Carnival, dates back to 1850, is also mentioned by the writer Grozia de Leda in the novel Elias Portalu. Defined as a Gatu for the way they act, it is made up of two skirts of the traditional costume. Worn inside out to hide the embroidery and guarantee anonymity, a white cover over the head as a symbol of birth. A black veil in front of the face as an emblem of death, and a red band around the head to symbolize marriage. While Sumaim one is the puppet destined to die at the end of the carnival, as a symbol of good luck. It was displayed in the fields to wish farmers and shepherds a good year. 
The face is covered by a mask made from dried prickly pear leaves. The mammoth stones of Samugia once represent the passion and death of Dionys, god of vegetation, whose festivals were celebrated in almost all ancient agricultural societies. Dionys, the god who died and was reborn every year like vegetation, is represented by the zoomorphic mask of Esertsu, who wears an entire goat skin with the head attached. The goat was in fact the most frequent form in which the god manifested himself. The representation of his passion, which in ancient times was a sacred ceremony, in the Christian period was trivialized and downgraded to a simple carnival mask. In this form it has come down to our century. Esertsu, held for life by Su Omidor. His guardian occasionally falls to the ground feigning the passion that precedes his death. The mammoth zones wear skins and hide their faces with a cork hat equipped with authentic goat or bovine horns. They try to reach Dionysian ecstasy, letting themselves be possessed by the god to make themselves similar to him. Every now and then they surround Esertsu and dance around him. Once all the mammoth zones carried with them a stick wrapped in periwinkle or ivy, similar to the thyrsus. Since this instrument is somewhat cumbersome, today it is carried only by some mask and by the one who leads the group. The rattles have an apotropaic meaning, that is, they want to keep evil spirits away from the ceremony with their sound. Sosterpos are the protagonists of the traditional Oratelli carnival. Their name means blind. Their faces are blackened and they wear sugabanu, a black woolen coat. They carry cowbells, which they shake to ward off the forces of evil and promote a good agricultural year. Sosterpos ox, pulling a wooden plow in groups of two. A therpos shepherd who leads them. A Thurpo sower who sows bran to symbolize the good luck of the harvest by throwing it on the crowd. And another Thurpo farrier who mimics the gesture of shooing the animal. Saskalanganos of Ostis. As per the name Colos, they wear sheepskins. On their heads they wear fox or marten skins. While on their shoulders they have the bones of various kinds of animals. Their characteristic is the cork mask covered with strawberry tree branches that they wear on their faces. The other figure is Esertsu, the sacrificial victim of the right, who wears pigskin. The Bardianos are the guardians with the classic gabanu, a black or base coat with hoods that cover the soot-dyed face. The bows and the merjules of the Atana carnival represent the struggle between animal instinct and human reason. The BOE who is chased, whipped and captured by the Merjul, has a wild pear mask with the features of an ox, often decorated with the flower of life as a sign of prosperity. He wears white sheepskins with cowbells on them that can weigh up to 30 kilos. The Merjul wears a mask with the features of the face of a deformed old man and represents the guardian. Senaredu and Esiskusorzu di Teti. As legend has it, a long time ago, a young shepherd from Teti told his friends a recurring dream, which repeated him to go to the sanctuary of Abini because there was a treasure. 
His guardian was a tiny person, halfway between a child and an elf who was called by all Susenaredu. When someone approached the sanctuary, he was challenged by this being, who promised that if he was beaten he would give up the treasure. So the shepherds, Solstizis Kusozu, going to the sanctuary met him and repeating the rhyme of the golden calf over and over they turned us around around. Until he threw his treasure to the ground, a jug of bronzes, the bundu of Irani, peasants with cork masks and pitchforks. They simulate sowing, for the rebirth of the fruits of Mother Earth. The tumbarinos of Gavoy. Among their instruments, they use goatskin drums, fixed on a whole circular cork bark, or on a beach cylinder. Esurthu and Sospatudos by Fonny close the show. They represent man's daily struggle against the elements of nature. Esurthu, the ogre, is dressed in black or white sheep or goat skins, has a cowbell tied around his neck with the face blackened by charred cork, is kept on a leash with an iron chain. Sospatudos, the guardians, wearing a coat of black wool.